Wow, a tying game after a YouTuber. How times change. Race with Ryan is geared towards kids, and you can see that the developers tried to polish the game, but the end result is rather dull. Controls are kinda slow, and by that I mean that they aren't as snappy as in Mario Kart for example. You also get a drift button, and every drift you do in the game has an annoying sound effect. There are 10 tracks in the Deluxe Edition, 4 more than the base game, that has only 6 tracks, but don't worry. But don't worry, the four aren't put to a better use in the Deluxe Edition. So don't buy the base game. And not the Deluxe Edition either. The career mode in Deluxe is the same as in the base game. You get four cups and in each cup you get the same tracks plus one unique one each cup. And this makes the game feel dull and repetitive. They should have released the base game with all the tracks from the Deluxe Edition. No, scratch that. They should have made each cup have unique tracks, that means at least 20 tracks in the game, like Mario Kart does. Instead, seeing the same handful of tracks in all of the cups makes the game super boring. And it's too bad, because the tracks are nicely made, they are creative and even have shortcuts and unique quirks. There are also 36 characters in the Deluxe Edition. As game modes you get single races, split screen and that's it. Pretty disappointing, right? There are no time trials or arenas. Nothing of that sort. Also during races the Ryan pop-ups are pretty annoying. They appear every time you activate a power-up. And since this is a kart racer, using power-ups is second nature to the game. And constantly hearing wow, it gets annoying. Also they could have used higher quality pictures for Ryan. The cutouts don't look HD. Overall, the game is very bare bones and it gets dull fast. The first time you play, the game will feel average. But the more you play, the more mediocre it gets. Sure, the graphics are great, and you get many nice characters, and the track designs are great, but seeing the same handful of tracks in the career mode gets old very fast. It takes you around 2 hours to finish the career, and in those 2 hours you will see the same tracks on repeat. The Deluxe Edition has more tracks, and if those would have made it into the base game, it would have been a much better game. Also, if each cup would have had unique tracks, that game would have been great. So my recommendation is to not buy the game. Not even if the game is cheap. The game isn't bad, but the kart racing market has so much competition that you can easily find better games than this one.